There is a scathing new report out today that looks at London's Metropolitan Police and says the biggest police force in the country is rife with racism, misogyny and homophobia. Abby Kugadasen right there at Scotland Yard with more on the details today. What is in this report, Abby? Heather, this report essentially says it's not just a few bad apples. The in independent report says that the Met Police, the largest police force in Britain, has a problem with institutionalized racism, misogyny and homophobia. This report was sparked following the murder of Sarah Everard back in 2021 here in London. She was murdered by a serving Met Police officer and as of right now we know that some 800 officers are being investigated for domestic abuse and other sexual offenses and this report outlines some of that it was led by Baroness Casey Lewis and she says that major structural reforms are necessary let's have a listen there is without doubt a discriminatory culture right across the Metropolitan Police and I think the institutional racism institutional sexism institutional misogyny um, um, and homophobia are definitely present across the organization we think the met um, is not able to assure all of us that its officers are of sufficient integrity and standards to be serving police officers so it needs to clean itself up this report says that black Londoners are stopped and searched at an excessive rate. It also outlines how Met Police officers are overstuffing broken fridges with rape kits, making them unusable. It also talks about how some firearms officers have used public funds, taxpayer money, to purchase iPads and hotel stays for themselves. And within the force, um, the investigation also talked to some of the employees and one third of women that work for the Met say that they've experienced sexism. One in five Met employees say that they've experienced homophobia. A Sikh officer had his beard trimmed. A Muslim man had bacon stuffed into his boots. So the 363 page report really outlining several stories like this, which led to the conclusion that they have made. We've heard from the Met Police Commissioner Mark Rowley early this morning. He said it was a ghastly report and that they will do everything they can to make these changes. Let's have a listen. We accept the findings of the report. Obviously, it's a deeply, deeply disturbing report. It sparks a range of emotions, tens of thousands of men and women who want us to be different. We know we've let Londoners down and I've apologised for that and I repeat that and we're going to change and we're going to improve. While he says they're going to make every effort to make those structural changes, he would not acknowledge that this is an institutional issue. Now, Baroness Casey did say that these reforms are needed. She's made 16 recommendations in this report and didn't say that the Met police force should be disbanded. But, Heather, she didn't rule it out. Abby Kugadasen, thank you from London this morning.